Let's see. Will you remember the face of the man who took it all away? What's up, guys? Hello, Punsu, and here to do a breakdown slash live reaction review to chapter 175 of Dan to Dan, which is known as Who's the True Perp? And this is interesting. It's interesting. Once again, the mystery of Count St. Germain, the origin of his abilities, and overall the longevity of his threat to the narrative is one of the most exciting things going on in Dan to Dan right now. Obviously, there still is a whole threat, or not necessarily threat, but like situation, issue problem above them being small so like that's the thing and also the nature of okuru not having powers at the moment which is also a very big thing and also naturally like everything else that has to go along with that but still i'm intrigued with this the most considering he's he's gonna be a threat he's gonna be a threat right and i truly do wonder what will happen now that the truth behind this girl and her abilities has been revealed so let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into it editing me are you ready three two one What's up, guys? That guy with a ooh, I, pencil here. Fun fact: I don't to have it on me and keep it on me at all times. And another fun fact: steal her power. Oh, so it's about to really happen. But I'll admit, I need to see my glorious King Evil Eye for a while. Like now, I think about it. What have they been? How long has it been? Is he? Is he chill? We haven't seen him since the Alien Invaders arc, where he did get to wild out admittedly. But like, what? What is he doing? Now that Okun doesn't have powers anymore, like, are they cooked? Like, who's fighting them? <laughs> Is it Momo? Like, who, who's actually boxing with them? Because that was their deal every Tuesday. So I actually don't know. What What, what is up with that? Because I know Okun, while he's physically strong now, he's definitely getting boxed up by Evil Eye without Turbo Grain's powers. So, like, what, 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 is, what is actually the move here now? <laughs> Think about it. Because he's still here. He's still alive. And in fact, the whole reason I even thought of it is because of the swirl pattern that's on his chest right now. So, like, huh. I actually don't know. Uh, I want to see my glorious king. And he's honestly one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Mola being the absolute vibe in every single panel she's in, though, that's always immaculate. Let's see. Steal her power? Uh, you mean her paranormal power? How's that even possible? It, it's what I was told. They said if I stabbed her with this knife, I'd be able to steal her power. But then again, what is the yielding thing? Did, did he stab? Did he stab Okuru? No. But da, 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 I wonder why the whole yielding thing is a condition. Like, like if, if, if the whole, if, 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 the, if the whole, if the whole point is to just, you know, find him, jab him, and stab him. Like, can't you just do that? Can you just run up on something? I feel like there's got to be, maybe it's the level of power. Maybe it's more condition based. And maybe, maybe because it's his power on Lent, but maybe he was just wrong. Maybe he just wanted to, you know, incapacitate Momo. Because, like, at least with the fairy tale card, he had to go out of his way to not only just subdue it, but get it to yield and then stab it. On, to on top of freeing it from the trap trunk he was in the first place. So I wonder, huh, I wonder if there are various conditions to it or if it's, like, a case-by-case -case thing where as long as he gets, he can do it. But then again, at the same time, why doesn't he just do it himself? It's really now that Okunun has all powers, and now that he knows that, considering he did the thing, he checked the knife and realized, wait a minute, this isn't working. I wonder why he doesn't just come and find her. Like, clearly, he can presumably perceive her. And considering his abilities currently allow him to be perceptible and lead them, literally, he's the head of their club, lead them, yet at the same time, not be remembered by them. Walk up, stab, dip, and you're good. Let's see. I'd be able to steal her power, but... I just couldn't stab her. Okay, oh, okay, so we're getting answers. We're getting answers. But I couldn't just stab her. In order to steal her power, there are conditions. Uh. Oh, 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 listen, I was like, say, who's the... Move the nurse. Are you all right? Why don't you have a nap? No. I'm fine. Wait, what are the conditions? Don't just beat around the bush. Spit it out. Ira. I hope you move on from Okaroon, because it's not going to happen. But, like, asking the important question. Let's see. I can't remember. This again? This isn't funny, you know. You expect us to believe any of that? So that's interesting. That's a real, that's a real good ability, dog. Once again, I want to see it used in combat. I, I do want to see it used in combat. I want to see what the limits of it are. If he needs to get a certain distance away, what are the conditions for that ability? Because it'd be wild if he could just de somebody in the, middle, in the middle of a fight. 
Like that'd be so crazy that he's like he's fighting somebody, and the moment they go to remember his moveset up to that point, they forget it, and how he operates, they just completely forget it. And then, on top of that, they he, they de aggro, so then he just beats them anyway. But then again, I assume based on the fight with the fairy tale, but then again, it was so big, so and it always had him in his line of sight. So maybe it's not the case for that. But if that has any sort of combat ap applicability, that's a really good ability. That's a really good ability because essentially you can never learn his moveset. Maybe maybe it's just the conditions that she's being forced to forget, but they can't even remember his face. I would believe if he showed you an entire attack pattern and maybe like got behind you, you forgot everything, you would not be ready for the exact same attack pattern. But it's like It's it's true. It's not a lie. Not this time. Trust me, I'd keep lying to you if I could. But let's see. In the end, maybe she is just an agent. There was a possibility she would fail in her mission. Yeah, probably. To avoid the worst-case scenario of being found, it's possible the evil teacher did something to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting, though, that in spite of her, you know, obviously giving up the goose here and forgetting not only his face, but also the steps for even completing the mission, she's, one, able to keep access to the knife, and two, keep control over the people. Right? Like, you, you, would, think, you would think the moment she did that, like, ultimately, all control, all legacy areas or ability she had to manipulate them would just vanish as, like, a punishment. Ultimately, you no longer have control over us. Your contract with us has ended. Please renew at a later date. And then they would just all attack. But let's see. What about your power? Your ability to use little... Let me just double check. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, feel like, I feel like maybe I'm just thinking of a different word. Less than 59 inches. Asia, Oceania, East Asia. No longer than the forearm. The term is sometimes considered derogatory because it focuses on a physical trait. Some say that, some say that the but what people have you gotten prefer to be called by their names? Okay. Okay. So Okay. Yeah, you know what? Just just because because of it, it is it is considered somewhat of a of a bad term. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep calling them the people. I'm gonna keep calling them the people. Yeah. Your ability to use the people. Did you have that already? Oh, uh, no. It's a power that the teacher forced on me. Whoa! What do you mean by that? Forced on you how? In what way? And why are they still loyal? So they may just break out right now. We'll take. They gave it to you? That power? How? Um, they had a bunch of those knives, and they cut me on my arm. And then, I became able to see the little people. Hmm. So he can lend a... I wonder if you can... See, that's a question, though. Can you take him? Like, if you're fighting him, once again, if you're fighting Count St. Germain, can you take the knife and just... I mean, of course, it'd be a gamble, naturally. And... Maybe, ooh cut me on my arm so i'm assuming that's the cut there but like if you start to steal his powers is there a limit or does he himself like is it once again conditionary where he needs to impale you himself with the intent of giving up the ability he's giving to you maybe you can't like presumably if you steal them off his waist he can't use them right like we see we see he wears that like line of knives in fact now that i think about it, do they even remember the guy they fought alongside like technically we did see Okurun team up with him. So like, I wonder if they remember it. Obviously, Unjizuma as well, but he, he's not here right now. But I do wonder if they even remember fighting alongside him at all. But that's possibly a very bad weakness. The fact that as long as you can get in contact with him and steal those things away from him, which will obviously still be difficult. He's clearly very powerful. Yeah, you could, you could cook up something crazy. You could cook up something crazy. But let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah. Ah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. Okay, there we go. And then I became able to see the people. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, so they went. So they went to patch up the cut. Hey, didn't I tell you not to touch me? Hey, that's mean. Is it bad that I wouldn't care? <laughs> If you stitch my skin to the floor, I, 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 if you were attacked, I, then again, 
It's a shonen manga. Like, like all the time, enemies become friends. Like, like this is normal. Like, look at I. Look at nah. I'm about to say not half the group. This isn't like a full Dragon Ball scenario. Well, then again, Momoa did attack. Ida did attack. That's about it, though. They're, they're two. They're two for six. Two for six. <laughs> Let's see. Didn't I tell you not to touch me? Also, no. I, I mean, technically, no. The I forget the, the class rep. She didn't attack either. That was more so the weird, powerful. I forget what omnibus men like that. That was that was straight. Oh no! Ah. Editing me. I'm so sorry, my friend. But it, it got on the sketchbook. We must preserve the sketchbook at all costs. Yeah. There we go. But let's see. Hey, that's mean. Haven't they been protecting you? Uh, so far. Let's see. I don't need this power. They're always hanging around me. And and they creep me out. I would cut. I would kind of get that. <laughs> like, I mean. Then again, I'm just. I am a guy who just, like, enjoys his privacy. I, mean, I, do, I do like. But, like. I would have to imagine, especially considering how many there are. Like, for for example, in this room, they likely be all on the chair where I'm not on the chair, on my desk, up the walls, on the on the displays. Like, they would be everywhere. And considering they are contracted to her, they likely just so like boss. What are we doing next? Or they probably watch you when you sleep. Like, I, I wouldn't like that. I, would, I, would, I, I don't blame her. I wouldn't like that either. But let's see. It's another reason, like, cloning is definitely a much more advanced version of a power like this. But, like, I wouldn't want to clone either. Like, unless I could turn it off and be absolutely loyal to me at all times. Like, I would not want that. Because what's it going to do? Is it going to sleep in the same bed? Like, the bed ain't that big. We ain't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, we ain't sharing. And don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me, Rachel. That concerns me. But let's see. I don't want to see them. I want my life to go back to normal. All I did was mess up once. Why did this all have to happen to me? Um, so you're in this little, very popular series called, uh, Da Da Da. And I'm like, <laughs> like that. In the past, there was a student who said they could see a little old man. They were scared, and they said they wished they couldn't see him anymore. So, I did some investigating. Ooh, interesting. And that's a different, that's a different style than what the, um, little people are. According to the folklore of a certain region, the people were originally people who were driven from... I know it sounds so stupid, but the people were originally people who were driven from, from the surface. The societally weak. There are people who have been forgotten by the world. These people quietly disappeared from the world and became the people. Their memories of who they were are now gone, but the desire to have someone acknowledge their existence remains strong. Inter so they exist. Maybe, maybe they're just a lot, but they exist. So why why does why did he have a power to control them? Was that was that an ability that someone else? So presumably based on how we've seen Count Saint Germain's abilities work, he fought someone who already had jurisdiction over them, and then he lent out that power. That's interesting though. Who who once held jurisdiction over them? Though obviously I get why the story's being told this way. It's very specifically to be like, hey. They're just like you. They also want to be acknowledged and like notice. They they want to be noticed by their senpais. So don't be too mean to them. I guess that's the whole point. But still, I I still want, want a bunch of eyes on me at all times. It's a little it's a little freaky. Let's see. Remain strong, and so when they find someone who can see them, they gather around that person and do all they can to help them. So maybe, okay. So maybe the ability wasn't to control them, but it was just to see them. Then again, that's an oddly specific ability to steal. Huh. Let's see. They say that good luck comes to you if you happen to see one. The student who came to me for counseling is now searching for these little old men. Huh. I mean, that's a nice spin on it. And I do think that is tragic, right? Since that story, since the nature of the universe is very likely true, they were people rejected and outcasted by society, forced to essentially undergo... I think you have. There's another. There's another series or piece of fiction that I read that, that has a similar story to this, where oh, it's not. It's not. Oh, well, it's a piece of fiction. Sonic Forces. Not not Sonic Forces. Not Sonic Forces. Sonic. It's literally the most recent one. 
Sonic Frontiers. There we go. Sonic Frontiers kind of did this. I mean, though mostly retroactively, with the Ancients and by proxy the Chow. If you'll, if, well, I guess it's, that's technically massive spoilers for Sonic Frontiers, but that game's really, really old, and Sonic Lore is Sonic Lore, so it'll probably be retconned soon enough. But in Sonic Forces, it's established that the Chow are actually descendants of the Ancients. So when, when they arrive to the planet, which is called Earth now, I guess, the Sonic Media, it's not Mobius, because, you know, rights. Thanks, Ken Penders. But ultimately, when they came to Earth, their DNA ended up biodegrading. So while they were once this extremely powerful, extremely intelligent ancient species that would be able to create robots and creatures powerful enough to rival Supersonic, a very, very powerful Supersonic, like fought 6D creature Supersonic, now they're just little blue guys who can only say chow. <laughs> and occasionally you can speak other words in some media. So like they te that's something like another case with the pygmies. Oh, that I said it. Whoops. But the people where they were once big presumable regular ordinary people but then they biodegraded and ended up turning into these things but now i guess they're immortal i guess once again it's hard to tell like what what, what is the logic like in they're all little dudes do they do they still like make people like i don't know what what, what are the like how do y'all exist are y'all just immortal now is that a benefit or a curse let's see he's now searching for these little old men Oh, 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 okay, so they 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 can speak. They can, they can muster words. I mean, once again, I feel bad for them, but you are not. You're not following me. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a ring. Don't worry, I'll, I'll give you guys a ring. But please, do not follow me around everywhere. I'm extremely concerned. Let's see. Woo, woo. Yep, and yeah, so so it's it is it's good, though, that her power relates to her. I did that so far. Well, kind of. Not really. Let's see. Yep, she was alone. She was alone, easily forgotten, easily stuffed to the side, considered less of a person than the others. Aw. Hang in there, Koku Koki. Oh, that's her name, Koki. I forget I completely forgot her name. But Koki. Aw, that, that that's nice. Moo, moo, moo. Aw. That is that is sweet. That is that I mean that is sweet that they're ultimately like, we we get the struggle, girl. We got you. <laughs> but so I don't know. Maybe maybe just because I, I don't like like, I feel like everyone's had that feeling where they're being watched or looked at, and then you turn and you're actually being watched and looked at. Like, I don't like that feeling. <laughs> it unnerves me. Please. I I'll, I'll always turn and be like... And those reasons, no, normally my eyes are like this, where like... Okay, not like that, obviously, but... That's my normal resting face. Whenever I feel, feel someone looking at me, I always hit them with the... The wide open eyes. So, I'm glad y'all are here, but still, it's a little concerning. Okay, like, can you can you can you like go back underground or something while I like I'm, like when I'm showering and need to sleep and just want some alone time? Please, I'll call you. I swear. Let's see. Uh, uh, hang on a second. But that means you didn't create the people. They've existed since olden times, right? Oh, so we're, so we're acknowledging that this weird contradiction. Let's see. I yes, that's what they said. Wait, what they said? You can understand them? Uh, a little. For real? For <laughs> that's me, me too, Momo, for real? <laughs> I mean, I guess you spend enough time around people. Uh, do any of them know how to turn someone who's been shrunk back to normal? Oh, maybe, we're, maybe we are going to wrap up this arc right now. Or at least it's a little bit important to the arc. Huh? Uh. Okay, so she's interesting. She seems to communicate with them mentally. Or kind of, sort of. Maybe? Maybe or maybe they just heard her question and are trying to answer. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, um, none of them know. Oh, what the heck? They don't? Well, uh, we'll have to look for other ways. Also, I'm curious about the owner of this knife. I would not, I, I, you actually do have powers. I would not allow yourself to be touched by that. Let's see. Wait, what, what are you doing over here? You leave them alone. You leave them all alone. She does not, well, maybe she is still equipped. Let's see. Not only does it steal a person a person's abilities, but the knife can grant them to someone else. That is that is very interesting. And not just for Momo. It could take ours too, right? Yeah, which is why you should probably burn the knife. Or like get well then again, I get wanting to keep it just to study it. But like, do not don't even play with it like that. Like if you drop it and accidentally impale yourself, your powers from acrobatic silk are gone, Ida. Evil eye could be drained out of Gigi, which now is something that they don't want. 
and oh wait never mind that's the class rap i was supposed to say like wait who but no this is a class rap this isn't um what should i call it that isn't the girl that isn't koki well, let's see it could take ours too right maybe they can be suddenly taken from us like with those aliens before yeah yeah and oh that 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 raises a question the uh the cur or count saint germain who came first and who got the idea of staking powers first oh no because count saint germain does seem presumably immortal considering he's well known throughout the universe but like i wonder did were they inspired by him or was the mother who can make suits out of people inspired by him or not i don't know let's see look at those aliens before what's more this time it's other hum by other humans with powers who likely know how to combat other humans with powers better. Yeah, she, she has good reason to be concerned. Where ultimately, the car kind of showed up and are just like, hey, we ball. And then they just did their best. Ultimately, if you're fighting another person who knows how to fight other people with extracurricular abilities, yeah, it may get uh, quite tragic, as they say. A little bit, a little bit spooky. Let's see. It's by other humans with powers. Hey, uh, do you know of any other people who were, that were given a power like you were? Still, I'm not sure what the... Just the power to see them. That's such an interesting, unique ability. I want to know who he stole that from and, like, why they had that power. They were given a power like you were? There's no point. She doesn't know. Yeah, the, their, her brain is auto-wiping. Let's see. Everyone, stick together as much as possible. Let's not give the enemy any openings to exploit. Once again, I wonder, though, in their head... What... Who's the teacher? Not specifically the teacher that they're referring to here. I get that. But specifically the teacher that runs their little club that they use to investigate everything. Like, is he just a blank spot in their head? Like, they know they have a teacher. But I guess they just can't picture his face. Because that is Count St. Germain. Like, that's him. So, Ooh. technically they're going to say, let's stick together. Let's stay close. Let's do this. Let's do that. But ultimately, the enemy is right amongst your mist. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be spooky. Let's see. Okie dokie. Hoo ha! <laughs> yeah, okay. he's growing up. He's growing up. He's slowly but surely. What do we do about her? Keep an eye on her for now. The enemy's sure to contact her, right? That's when we pop out and nab him. Uh, pot twist. The enemy's right with you. Let's see. And then, we'll make them erase your embarrassing underwear photos. Oh, uh, thank you. Aw, see, that's good. At least they're. Oh, good, he looks so awkward just holding a bubble. She, I swear she gets smaller every time he's here. But that's nice of Ida. What's your name? Oh, uh, Koki Yukishira. Huh? Yukishira? Ooh, what, what, why does that ring about? In the junior piano competition? You were the youngest person to ever win top prize. Aww. Aw, she's already beating the ah ah. That's sweet. That's sweet. And it leaves from a time long ago, presumably. But still, that's nice. She's being not. Huh? How did you know that? How could I not? After all, I'm the one who lost to you. <laughs> you know, that is true. Apparently, I forget the context, but for some reason that mama with a pencil, I think that dad with a pencil was with her, they ran into somebody who I beat in a foot race like a decade and a half ago or something like that. Or like it was a decade ago or something like that. I, I, I beat them for, I don't even know, like when they told me, oh, they look like this, this is their name. I was like, who? What? What? Like I, I genuinely do not even remember. Like I remember, I do remember one particular foot race. I remember against. Oh no, I remember a couple foot races. I was the guy that ran track and field. I remember a bunch of people I beat and a bunch of people I've lost. But they specifically gave me a reference. They showed me the picture. I'm like, I do not remember this man to save my life. <laughs> but apparently, it was so memorable that when he found out that they were my parents, it was like, it was him. It was the pencil man. From all those years ago, he's the one who put me on this path. And like, I don't remember him track and field or anything. And I remember, I remember a bunch of my track and field people. Maybe not their names fully anymore. But like, I bet if you show me a picture of him, be like, yeah, I know him. I know him. I know him. I know him. I do not remember. It was a pre track and field era pencil that apparently beat this guy in a race sometime, and it stuck with him ever since. I don't know. I haven't seen the guy. I haven't spoken to the guy. I mean, but like, cool. I have lore. I guess. <laughs> It is something like that, where ultimately, when you're a child, or really, really young, you you can do your best. 
and you can succeed in a way that people wouldn't expect and then you may forget who you surpassed or you may forget who you've interacted with but ultimately everyone's experiences are different and you'll be remembered one way or another and i think that is a, a beautiful part of life right like the ultimate idea that yeah sure life is fleeting and even memories are fleeting even those with perfect memory or photographic memory as been explained in my own comments it's not like clear literal pictures it's not a slideshow it's a bunch of jumbled mess but still it's all perfectly recollected people will stand out memories will stand out and moments in time will stand out and affect and linger with people forever in good and bad i think that's fun let's see except after that i practiced almost to death yeah okay Anna. and i finally beat you I had faith in my own talent, and I worked hard. At first, one may win by luck, but in the end, I also realized that you can't keep taking the stage if you don't have talent. So Ira is the reason her family doesn't love her. <laughs> Golly! Yeah. Of course, of course. You know, it only makes sense. <laughs> it, it, only, it only makes sense. All right, gosh darn it, Ira. You, you, you plot Nexus point. You, you, you definitely are a tertiary main character. Or let's see. Ida Shiratori! Wait, uh, do you still play? I quit. I was a pain in the neck. Hi. I mean, like, I didn't participate in competition. I only did recess, but I also did. I played two instruments. Piano and trombone. I even fought them both. I just didn't like it. I, 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 just, I straight up just did not like it. I did not like... A piano, and I did not like trombone either. I just didn't like, I don't like music. But I have family members who are very, very good at it, and I'm happy that they're good at it. I have my own things, obviously. I have yapping. But then again, a lot of my family has yapping. I come from a long line of yappers, but still. I understand that. It was annoying, and I didn't like it. It was a pain in the neck. I quit. I get it. <laughs> I was like, say what? I quit playing piano because of you. Why would you quit piano? Maybe that's the full lore of that guy. Once again, I don't, I don't know, but maybe, because maybe I don't remember him doing track and field. Like, I guess I demoralized him. I, I literally have the picture that my parents showed me in clearly in my mind. I'm like, I, I cannot place this guy. I cannot. Let's see. And the thing is, I even remember like some super specific pencil lore point. I remember in one of the middle school foot races I did, I won. I beat another guy from another class by like half a step. And I remember one of the teachers had told me specifically, hey, I think you lost that. But they gave it to you anyway. And I was like, and that's the moment that stuck with me ever since. I was like, dude, one, I did win. You're the only person who said it to me. And be wanted to say that you were a full grown man. What does it matter? <laughs> but I still remember that. I think it was like, I think it was in like seventh or eighth grade. I was like, why? Why would you tell me that? And that's the only thing I remember from that teacher. He wasn't even my own teacher. Like, he was just a random dude. But still, moments will stick. So maybe, maybe there was a moment like that where ultimately someone just told him and then it demoralized him. But I never had a, I've, I've only quit things because I don't like them. Admittedly, I don't think I've ever quit because someone else has made me quit. Let's see. I quit playing piano because of you. Why would you quit piano? Stop being ridiculous. You are just chicken hearted. You feel me? I used to not roll. But let me stop. You should be grateful that your parents paid for you to play the piano at all. Who are you to talk? You just said playing was a pain in the neck. Aw, they're already bonding. She'll be a nice addition to the group. We're, we're getting a really diverse cast. <laughs> Gigi's faces are always very impressive. We'll see. Because of you, I ended up believing I had no talent. And I quit playing the piano. People who go, go on and on about talent. Don't put in enough effort. Ira, you don't watch it all. All done. We suit up your shirts. Aww. You, you could have made the people do that. But still, that's nice. That's nice. They ended up working together to suit up the shirts. There, there. There are a ton of them right th there. There, there. There are a ton of them right there. Huh. I, I can't see anything. Which is still crazy. Kinchon, your nose is all is, is your nose all coolio? I hate men. I want a girl to worry about me. Sakataga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he's that's his name. Or Kinchon. He's not the only person I've heard say that. But then again, I kinda get it. Like you just don't want to look weak. <laughs> I, I I understand that. That that is kinda just how you're raised. Let's see. Are you alright? Sorry, kid. Oh, I'm fit as a fiddle. Hey, I mean, the girl didn't worry about him. That's good. And she did do that to him, so that, that's nice. Though I do wonder, are they still in empty space? Like, she's no longer in her 
suits are they just like back in the real world now is time actually passing like do y'all have class like what is happening right now but overall top w chapter so a new addition to the cast i honestly wasn't expecting one so quickly after the omnibus girl the class rep and honestly i was expecting unji zuma to stick around a whole lot more he is one of my favorite characters for how clean and concise his story is but hey if we're gonna add another one you want to add one, you want, you want, you want, keep keep stacking keep stacking them. i'm i'm happy to have a big diverse cast the only thing is i want Vimola to do more i think she hasn't really done much <laughs> since her introduction and in her main arc she was kind of just like a side thing like she didn't really get the fight <laughs> She hasn't really done much, at least combat-wise, since her initial, like, appearance, when you think about it, when she fought Sakataka and everybody else. That's about it. She hasn't really done anything since, so I'm hoping, I hope she's allowed to cook sometime soon. Please. Please, Sensei. Don't, don't forget about them. But overall, a W chapter. We got more lore. We get, we got more lore on the people, which is cool. I'm glad we got more lore on them. We got the reasoning for their loyalty. We got the explanation or a further extrapolation on Count St. Germain's abilities, even if she can't remember all of them, which is good. Once again, we're getting more and more and more info, which is always helpful. And we're setting up a, a task squad. The ultimately, I do think they're going to fail because I feel like Count St. Germain is kind of the main villain at this point. I'd say he's kind of the main villain. So I, I'd assume we're not going to, we're not going to catch him this soon. So overall, once again, we hit it for the two times. A W worthy chapter. If you made it all the way to the end of this review, though, please do me a favor and leave. It's a me, Mario. Okay, that's a, that's a weird one. But for some reason, these guys do remind me of Mario. But it's a me, Mario. That phrase in the comment section down below. And the thing is, for watching, be sure to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that little case bell so you don't miss out on any of the on the channel. Also, also do have an Abby page down below where you can support me for as low as one, get one, no, the things like exclusive videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member of the channel for as low as $3 a month to get the same perks and more. So those perks include the live reactions, whatever this series I am to review, add to reactions to all my videos, and become a Toyota Patreon or a Toyota member, you can order whatever video you want. Also, 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 do a link to my Ko-Fi, which is down below, where you drop five, ooh, five minutes for a short video, to means for one video or any means at all, any support is always greatly appreciated. Now, I'd like to thank you so much for watching once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Dagger with a Pencil, writing off. I'd like to give a thank you to our three dollar members: Zara, Greyhound, Eternal Flame, Red Wolf four seven six five, Astro, Brandon Payne, Glacier XZ, and G Prosper. And I'd like to give a thank you to our five dollar members: A Plus A, Igneal Lind, Kevin Incarnacion, Midnight Lord twenty one, and Sean. And I'd like to give a thank you to our seven dollar members: Fine, Austin Wimberly, Auchiha, and Yuki Ally. And I'd like to give a thank you to our $10 members, AZ Void, J Warrior, and Robbie Uchiha. And I'd like to give a big old thank you to our $10 patrons, Overlord Zero, Waki Munoz, Waki Munoz, and Idem Okami. And I'd like to give a final giga gracious gargantuan thank you to our $100 That Guy with a Pencil Tier patron, Calvin Elder.